Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. So this is kind of part two, sharing my process of how I make my journals. Um, I got questions about this, what my process looks like, is it random or is it planned, how I get pages together, how I choose ephemera. So I thought I'd just quickly put on the camera while I'm going about making these three journals. These are country garden journals. And in the previous video I shared, or one of the previous videos anyway, I shared how I choose ephemera. So check that video out, I'll leave the link below if you're interested. In this video, video I'm going to share how I choose the pages. So, and maybe talk about the cover too. Let's talk about the cover first actually, because for me, a journal begins with the cover. So yeah, I've got questions, do you start with the cover or the pages? I start with the cover. This is just my method. Um, and basically it just all happens by me seeing a picture I like and going, I want to celebrate that cover, that picture and by putting it on a cover. <laughs> so what happened was, I'm just gonna take you through my process as exactly as it looked. This is my folder that I collect things in. I have a file folder for different projects and I just put in different themes in there. So I've got one for butterflies, I've got one for Australia themed, I've got one for um, ocean themed, one for dragonflies. This one is my botanical themed fol folder and I chose green to go with garden. <laughs> so I know this is my botanical folder. So I just put book pages in here that I got from the op shop. Um, I, I literally just check out the shelves in the op shop and buy um, maybe three to five gardening books and then I use them to cut out pictures and turn into journal cards and I use some to turn into covers and I use some to turn into pages so yeah, they're all in here and as I was going through these I just pulled out some pictures that I was just thinking wow they are stunning and I want to show those off and then turn them into covers like this so here is kind of what they look like and they're just so pretty and then what this does straight away this tells me what color theme the journal will be purple and with a bit of white and blue because purple and blue go together for me this one is going to be kind of red and pink themed and also perhaps a bit more green and this one shows me okay well I'm gonna go with a yellow theme because we've already got red and pink over here we've already got white over here let's pull out the yellow in this one and this one though has a lot more color going on it going on in it so as well I might pull out just this is the colorful journal <laughs> and that's how the covers tell me what to put in them and I, I don't know I can't really explain it more than that it's kind of an intuitive process but they show me what I'm going to do in them so then I just go through that file folder again and pick out pages and what that looks like I'll do it with this one what that looks like is so I got various books and one of the books I'll just go through all the pages from that book and for example there were three pages from that book hang on I, I'll have to show you kind of deconstruct it for you guys so this is what I was starting with originally so this page here and this page here and this page here were all from the same book so I pulled out three pages from that book for each of the journals and that's how I create a set to make them the same so with this one book I chose three pages from this book for this one three pages from that book for this one and so on and how I choose this page these pages is I'm looking for purple I'm looking for purple I'm looking for purple and so in this one I'm looking for yellow in this one I'm looking for the pages with pink that's how that works then for example I moved on to another book there was this book here with these full-size illustrations illustrations pictures photos and again I'm just looking for the colors so there's purples and whites in here and of course you got to work with what you've got right so there's other colors in here that's fine um, there were two pages in here that suited like you, you saw that file folder there were so many more pages than what I'm showing in these journals but that's why I'm choosing again you can see lots of yellow here but there's lavender so that's why I've chosen this um, and if there were more if there were other pages that had more purple I would have chosen those but since there weren't any I used what I had pulled out the purple where I could find it whereas this one um, yeah see there's yellow here but there's a lot more other colors going on so I chose this one for this journal and 
Where is the other version of that page? Here. No. No. <laughs> Hang on a second. Here it is. So there's the yellow that I'm pulling out and there's lots of other colors there too. And it kind of matches the cover. So that's what I'm always thinking about. I'm keeping in mind what is the cover like? Does it match the cover? Do they match each other in the journal? And if and I'm also thinking, okay, when I've got a set of three, I need to have enough pages that I can use it. So for example, if that one book, I didn't have enough pages to include it in these journals, like there wasn't enough yellow pages, I just wouldn't have used it. All of these journals would have missed out on the, that book because there weren't enough pages to cover this amount of journals. Uh, I want them the same. I want them consistent to be a set. So next, I'm looking at the those pamphlet thingies, those brochures, you know, those information booklet thingies. So I had quite a few of these that I was saving for this project because isn't that just beautiful? And again, see, I'm just pulling out the purple for this journal. And my inspiration for the cottage garden journals was actually the middle page of each journal. These images were just speaking to me so much. This would have been a journal cover. It just wasn't the right size to be a journal cover. So instead what I did is made these the middle pages. And again, I'm just using what I have. The, like these both have purple, but this one has more pink, the darker pink. So that's why I chose it for this journal. This one has a lot more white and lighter pink that can match the white flowers here. And then this one, you can see that it's got the purple again, but now it's got the yellow and the pinks to work with the yellow and the pinks there. And that's what I'm thinking about. Um, everything is chosen for a reason to fit in with the cover and every other page that is in the journal and as a set, if they all work together uh, to be consistent. Um, and that's again what I mean by I have a very methodical systematic process like I know I keep saying this this is just how I work and I have a vision in my head and so every page that I choose lines up with that vision um, and then so those are my feature pages the one book two books and then these is my third set of feature pages and then I chose some note pages and again I lined up there were six of these and I divvied them out among the journals to be the colour pattern for the journal. So purple ones and this one, pink ones and that one were possible. There weren't any yellow ones but I used a different type of pink flower for these ones. These ones I tried to use the fuller rose looking flower. This one more maybe a pointy looking flower. Anyway, so, so that's how I work these things out. Like it's all in the, deta in the details. Alright, those are my feature pages. So I was looking for around 10 it just ended up being around 10 feature pages and what I mean by feature pages is they have writing or pictures on them they're the direct decor they're the decorative pages okay and then what I want is the blank pages so I've got my coffee dyed pages I've got some colored pages that tie in with the theme so this one has a purple page and a green page green because that's my base that tells me it's a garden botanical journal green so they all have a green page but this is the only one that has a purple page this is the only one that has a pink page and this is the only one that has a yellow page instead of the purple that this one has and then once oh sorry then I also just have like this is another blank page and, and it's like a graph green graph again I chose the green graph because it reminds me of botanical and then I have my coffee dyed pages which is the the bulk of the rest of the blank pages and they all intersperse so as I put them together I'm thinking feature page blank feature page blank did I do that right blank feature page blank you get what I mean um, and then to break up that pattern I also have things like doilies and the note pages because even though these are decorative they're still space to write on so these are kind of a mix between the two so these could all these could either go next to blank pages or the feature pages because it works as both and that's this is how I just get the variety and the different looks from page to page and then here's a glassine bag for example to break it up so yeah that's what I'm thinking of you could also use like an envelope to be a break up page but how it works in my head is I want a set of feature pages and I want a set of blank pages that I alternate 
and then I break those up with the more interesting features like a bag or an envelope or a doily or even vellum so where's my vellum I do have a vellum sheet in here as well here it is so this one I don't call well it is blank but you can't really write on it so it's more just an, an extra interesting page um, and this is one that someone would have to um, create their own journaling spot on this or stick something on so that kind of page whereas these the blank pages I call the ones that you can write on just directly <laughs> um, yeah so that is how I go about it I, I hope that was helpful I mean breaking it down like that just really going through my system my method of what I'm thinking about how I'm working things together and choosing a ratio of types of pages together and I hope that helps I mean I know lots of you guys just do totally random pick this pick that whatever and sometimes I do that and I often find that can be the most fun type of journal to make because it's just intuitive and pure creativity but this is my way I work 95% of the time because um, I'm very um, I'm a methodical structured person in real life and like I was saying it just overflows into my journal making as well and because I've made journals like 430 journals now <laughs> over the last um, two and a bit years I have a method now that works really well for me so it's just really really easy to make these for me because I know okay I need this amount of pages and I need this amount of blank and I need this amount of interesting ones and <laughs> so it's just very um, very easy so yeah if there's any questions at all uh, about this video or the previous one just feel free to ask them um, and I will try to help you out as much as possible because the aim with this is just to help you to make your own journals and I know how it can be so intimidating and we just you know you get paralyzed not knowing where to start um, but if me sharing my process helps then that's all worth it and yeah I'm, I'm very much like a recipe I guess other people would just chuck in eggs and milk without measuring I kind of do the buy the tea type of thing so if that helps I hope it helps <laughs> anyway thanks guys for watching I'll see you in the next video bye